All right, guys, we're back once again in Skyrim. Third time now, but uh, this one's a lot different. This isn't the same Skyrim that I've shown in all my other videos. This is Novus's Skyrim. And uh, for those of you who haven't seen my video, my past video that I made, like a little trailer, uh, it's Novus's Skyrim mod list is an installer, <coughs> and it installs over 2,000, 2,000 mods. So this game is completely changed. The combat, completely overhauled. Visuals from head to toe. Anything you can think of texture-wise has been changed. Lighting, EMB, has been changed. Movement's been changed. Enemies have been changed. AI, combat, like everything that you can think of has been changed. Um, so we're going to do another playthrough. I'm actually going to use combat this time. I'm going to use magic still too, but vanilla combat for Skyrim sucked. This is way different. Way different. It, it's almost like a whole new game. So uh, we got our gear set up. Uh, we got it set to random for where we're going to start at. And in order to get the main quest to uh, start, you need to first kill the dragon. And it's not like... Uh, like, before in vanilla, dragons wouldn't show up until you went to White Run and all that. No, not in this one. This one, they'll just spawn. So once you kill your first one, then you can go talk to the Greybeards and start it from there. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's do this. So we're just going to have any random location to start off with. And you can see we got new loading screens here. And just, I fooled around a little bit with it, just to see what it looks like. And man, I'm going to avoid fast travel as much as I can. So basically, we got to wait to find a dragon. Uh, religion. Most citizens of Tamriel are religious. You may choose the following deities. Receiving a minor blessing and learning about their sacred tenets. If you wish to follow a different deity later, find an act like their shrine in the world. I uh, will go to Debella, just because we're using Touch by Debella. Uh, you are currently equipped items and shout blah blah blah, just small nuanced stuff. But look at how good this game looks already. Like normally I'd mess around with the weather to try and keep it nice, but uh, all the weathers I'm I'm impressed with. The game, even the game, like my game was, hold on, let me test the volume for this, sorry guys. Um, hold on a second here. Actually, let me get my weapons set up here uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so we'll have the bow on the right sword on the left see even with the mods that I had downloaded myself man this one's so much more optimized it runs so much more smoother just everything Even the animations are better. Uh, let me check the gain's volume actually. Give me one sec, guys. Alright, I had to turn that down for a sec. Sorry. Um, where's it at? Something just flew by us. Oh my god, that looks nice. can lock on to targets. Oh my god, look at the effects. I need to get all oh, troll. Ooh, beautiful shot. No, I want this. Oh my god, look how nice that dragon looks. <laughs> Holy smokes. But yeah, like I was saying, if you're interested in this, it's a, it's an installer that'll do everything for you. It'll install all the mods, all 2,000 plus mods for you. Um, the only caveat is you need the upgraded version of um, Anniversary Edition. And you'll need a premium account on... Um, a premium account on Nexus mods because if you if you're oh my god get out of here wolves if you got a free account 
your bandwidth is limited to three kilobytes a second, which is garbage. It's nothing. And you're talking about almost 400 gigs of mods that it's going to download. So um, if you don't have the premium version, you'll have to confirm every mod once it's downloaded by hand by clicking on it. So you can imagine how long it's going to take to download 300, 400 gigs of content. Another dragon? Oh, that's me being summoned. So yeah, you can imagine how long it would take to download 300 gigs. And on top of that, every time a mod gets downloaded, you have to hit confirm. So you'd be sitting at your computer for like six, seven hours <laughs> confirming stuff. Because one, your downloads are going to be super slow. And you're going to be waiting to confirm every time you download something. So premium, you need to go, unfortunately. It's like seven bucks. And uh, about 500 gigs of free space. And for the low end, for specs, uh, for the low end quality, uh, you'll need a 1080 Ti at least in an i5 um, i5 CPU, SSD drive, and I think about 16 gigs of RAM. And for the high high end option that I'm using, uh, you'll need a 3080 Ti um, SSD. 16 gigs, I think, of RAM still. And the memory space, yeah. And you'll be pretty much good to go. So, this game looks way too good for me to want to bother fast traveling. And I messed up the map somehow, so the map's going to suck. Um, so, I'm going to try and not fast travel as much as possible. Just because this game looks gorgeous. I don't know if that's the direction I want to go or not. Speak to the Greybeards, Iverstead. Okay, it looks like it might be the right way. And I think I have the music down because I made a video to this. So one second. Yes, the music is turned down. And even with my 3080 Ti, I'm still like running around like 40 frames for this game. But as you can see, this game is fucking gorgeous. If I was to turn all of the UI settings off, like this, and you just saw this, you, you wouldn't know I was playing Skyrim if I had the music off too. Just everything, man, just is beautiful. And if you want to have a good idea of what this game added, <laughs> look at the MCM menu. <laughs> Holy crap. Like, look at all the stuff. <laughs> like, I'll never play this game without this mod list ever again. Everything's been overhauled. Monsters, animals, combat, NPCs, everything. Like Skyrim never used to push my computer. This thing's got my computer like a heater right now. <laughs> like look at the trees, man. My favorite part about this mod is just going into the forest because it actually feels like a forest now. And they added double jump. Oh. See, we got new creatures. And this game's got a lock on feature. This is awesome. Take those septums. Yeah, 
in because this is part of the um whoa, whoa, whoa. because this is part of the anniversary edition it comes with all the extra stuff like the need to eat and stuff I'm not sure if that's for difficulty settings or if you have to actually enable that so we'll see as we go kinda lost track of where I was going this game just looks too good to want to fast travel come here actually one thing I want to do is adjust the vol lines which is like the kill animation it's like a kill animation thing uh, advanced kill moves last enemy on kill moves matched on mixed automatic kill move camera view vanilla projectiles vanilla last enemy restriction on last enemy restriction we don't want that I want to be able to kill anyone at any time Review vanilla. Is there like a random smart? Smart camos will match whichever camera view you're using. Okay, let's let's try with smart. Drag kill. All right, there we go. And like the 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 sprint animations are dynamic. So like, see how she's running on her shoulder. Next time I sprint, it could be this way. So there's different, or this way. So there's all kinds of just stuff that's added to this. And I'm super excited to explore everywhere and see what everything looks like. See all the new enemies, magic. This game just looks so damn good. Look at the landscape. Am I going the right way? This map is terrible. I screwed that up. I tried to download. I think I, in the process of removing a few mods that I didn't want from this, because you have to switch over to Mod Organizer 2, which I forgot to mention, which I wasn't too happy about, but I got used to it. But yeah, you have to go to Mod Organizer, and it hasn't... I think it's an ESP limit of 255. So you can only have mods that have around 200. You there, uh, citizen. This area is off limits. You're interfering with imperial business. Yeah, so you'll have to pay us a fine. Say, a hundred gold. Pay up, citizen. Take it from me. If you insist. Come on, boys. This will be fun. Work. Now, uh -huh. ain't this a surprise? The hell's happening to my cape? <laughs> oh. Oh. Take that. <laughs> Try to rob me. I'm just gonna. There's gonna be so many times where I just stop to look at the scenery. Like, just look. And I thought I did a good job with the last Skyrim I did myself. But this, man, this is just crazy. Like, look at the textures, the lighting. Who's that? I'm gonna get distracted so much in this game, in this one. Like, if your computer can handle this, man, you gotta try it. Skyrim's been over for almost 18 years now. That's crazy. This. This definitely modernizes Skyrim. <sighs> 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 <Like, laughs> 
very tired. Like my computer is pushing out some heat. <laughs> God damn. playing Skyrim what the hell am I playing man seriously <laughs> I'm gonna say that so many times oh my gosh this game looks so good okay we got it we got to go in the first person we got to check this stuff out Look at the textures, man. Bethesda should be ashamed of themselves. Instead of re-releases, they should have made a re-damn master, and special edition doesn't count as a remaster. This is basically a remaster. I gotta go across that bridge, don't I? Oh shit, what the? I can't see. Get out of the way, leaves. I'm killing stuff pretty easy, though. Oh, he looks like he was getting beat up. Hold on, let me see. I think my difficulty settings may be too low. Oh, yeah, look at right on novice. Here, we'll put on normal for now, because I don't know what's in store with these new enemies and stuff that come with the game. Passing through on your way to High Hrothgar? About to make a delivery up there myself. Maybe you can help me. It's all in this note. I cannot best you. You cannot best who? What? I didn't attack you. What month is it? Summer. There's actually seasons here too. One thing I might change, maybe, is the, um, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, my God, this game is so fucking beautiful. Is it might change DMB, maybe, because I really like... I really like Berserker's EMB for outside, but uh, I'll probably try and do a playthrough of this first, because I don't want to risk breaking the load order for this game. Because I've got two terabytes of upload and download internet speed, which is insanely fast. And uh, it still took about three hours to download all the mods for this. So, uh, I don't want to risk messing up the load order right away, anyways. I'll enjoy the game first. But holy smokes, man. This looks incredible. <laughs> I'm going to say that, like, so much. The 
Just look. Goosebumps, goosebumps. I've, I've almost got that. Oh, okay, let's go. Troll encounter. Where you at? I see ya. <laughs> this lock on feature is so nice. So some of the cool things I like that they added is, like, let's say I'm looking this way. I can snap. I can snap to whatever view I'm looking at. Which is pretty cool. I really like that feature. Let's just take in the sights one more time. Because it just looks fucking gorgeous. And when I do hit 60 frames per second, usually like in dungeons and stuff, man, it feels so smooth. Even up here is not so bad because it's not trying to render everything that's down there. But I just, I can't even comprehend how Skyrim's able to run with 2,000 plus mods. Like, that's so much content. Like, how's it able to handle that? Like, look, it looks so nice. <laughs> this is crazy, man. So, a dragonborn appears at this moment in the turning of the age. I'm answering your summons. We will see if you truly have the gift. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Let us taste of your voice. <coughs> Fools! Dragonborn, it is you. Welcome to High Hrothgar. Oh my god. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Now, tell me, Dragonborn, why have you come here? I want to find out what it means to be Dragonborn. Well, we are here to guide you in that pursuit. Just as the Greybeards have sought to guide those of the Dragonblood that came before you. You mean I'm not the only Dragonborn? You are not the first. There have been many of the Dragonblood since Akatosh first bestowed that gift upon mortal kind. Whether you are the only dragonborn of this age, that is not ours to know. You are the only one that has been revealed thus far. That is all I can say. I'm ready to learn. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But... Do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thum, a shout. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you Gro, the second word in unrelenting force. Gro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with Fus, force, 
to focus your thumb more sharply. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. As part of your initiation, Master Einarth will allow you to tap into his understanding of rope. What the fuck? <laughs> Why was he doing the crip walk? Use your unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Well done. Again. <laughs> Why is he limping? You learn quickly. Once more. Hadouken. Impressive. Your thumb is precise. You show great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Boy. After you, sir. game loads so fast like like when I have my other game like my own Lodo it would take forever like for the for this to happen no, it's instant it would click and click and click you will now see how you learn a completely new shout Master Bori will teach you wolf which means well win you must hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thumb. Burst voice? What's that? Approach Master Bori and he will gift you his knowledge of wood. Oh, it hurts him to do that. Now we will see how quickly you can master. <laughs> master Wolfgar will demonstrate whirlwind sprint. Whirlwind sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. Rex! Wolf! Attack! Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. Wolf! Stand next to me and prepare your whirlwind sprint. Master Bori will give the signal. Hey, come on, I'm trying to do this and look cool. There we go. <laughs> Your quick mastery of a new thune is uh, astonishing. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, but to see it for myself. 
I thought this was this easy for everyone. No, indeed not. But beware that your skill does not outstrip your wisdom. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jürgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ostengraf. Remain true to the way of the voice, and you will return. Got an achievement. Okay then. So is this our quest marker? Still not sure what our quest marker is. It always fools around when I'm in here, so let's leave. Out the other door. In this this camera, I love this camera. Like this, um, I think it's part of the smooth camera mod. Like it, your character actually moves with the camera still standing still a bit. But I kind of don't like that effect when I jump. I'm assuming there's a mod for it. It might be in the MCM menu where I can turn the effects off. But uh, for now, kind of screwed. Yeah, that must be my quest marker. So I do have the ability to fly there, but uh, I don't want to fast travel or miss anything. So what I will do is fly to the bottom of the mountain. And then we'll travel from there. I love how I can do that now while flying. It looks so nice. Much better. It's still a bit janky, but you know, it's not meant to be in the game, so for what it is, I think we're doing pretty good. Oh shit. Wipe yourself off. You dead. Now we got these collectibles here. I'm not exactly sure what these do. Sky Shards and Skyrim. I'm not exactly sure above the moon. Yeah, I'm not sure what these do yet. Oh my god, I love double jumps. How is this Skyrim? <laughs> Look at White Run. I mean, even for what's going on here. Now the frame hits, it's worth it for the way this game looks. We'll collect these as we see them. I don't, I don't know what they do, but we'll find out eventually. By Eastmere, it's true. A jester, funny suit and all. Just north by the Laureus farm. Fool had a coffin in a cart with a broken wheel. I'd like to see him laugh his way out of that. <laughs> well, it sounds like you've had quite the journey, Uthgar. But you were gone longer than usual. I got to thinking maybe you weren't coming back. You sound like my ma. Figured I was lying dead in a field somewhere, is that it? Look how the light Thought shines on the armor, mind. man. Holy War look at the sword! Riot and Helgen have now jesters. Skyrim's gone mad, girl. Look at the armor! <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Listen, this game looks so good, I don't give a damn about the frame rate right now.
Is the grass moving to me? Yo, I'm moving the grass out the way. Holy crap. What? Like, that's not just the grass blowing, is it? No, it's moving to from me. That's crazy. I'm sorry guys, for like the first episode or two, it's probably just going to be like this. Me just getting distracted and looking at the visuals, because... My fucking god. <sighs> I feel like... I've, I'm getting that same feeling about this game now that I got the first time Skyrim came out. Like, I was itching to play this so bad for like the last, like, two days. But, uh... I've been busy and haven't really had any quiet time to myself. So I was just fooling around making videos for it. Like little You there. Please, you have to help me. I was attacked by a vampire. Do you have a potion or something that can cure this before I turn? Uh, I got something way. that could help you. I have to get to town and find a priest. It's called death. You are now cured. <laughs> He's cured. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? I like that you can sheath your weapon while you're still sprinting. What the hell is that? Monster added by them. Mod list. Is that a Minotaur? Oh, the Minotaur? What the hell? Where did you come from? Oh! <laughs> He's dead. Oh shit, it's coming for me. I'll fight you. Oh, I wish I could dodge. Ooh. I like combat now. I don't even think I'm going to look at magic. Stupid fox, go away. I don't even know if I'm going to touch magic. Because that was one of the main things I liked. Or like why I always use magic in my other play. Ooh, look at that. Okay, hold on. I need to get a closer look at this guy. What the hell? What was that? Anyway. Uh, you're kind of facing the wrong way there, bud. But dang, look at the detail. Oh, man. Wondering if I should attack it or not. Do I got anything strong enough to kill it?
That did not do as much damage as I was hoping. Crap. up a lot of magic. I love the lock-on feature, man. It's so nice. Hanging them. Hurry up and land, god damn it. that one man I got a really strong magic but it spell but it takes everything to do it yet. Fire's not even hurting me. What the hell? Uh, why ain't that hurt? I've got God mode on, do I? No, because I wouldn't be I wouldn't be losing magic. He's down, I guess. Wasn't that much of a challenge. Gosh, we're almost at an hour already. Having too much fun. Okay, so where were we? I'm trying to go to a dungeon, that's right. 
<laughs> oh, don't hurt yourself. No! It almost looks like they animated this, like, to run down, like, steeper inclines. You guys got your fan service on that one. <laughs> Do a quick safety save. Am I going the right place? What the hell is going on here? Peg? Oh yeah, ten dollars. I'll take that. I guess it's kind of like the magic effect is like I'm jumping off of a barrier, I guess. So I guess it kind of makes sense. See, like I'm jumping off a magic barrier. Get out of my way, you stupid wolf. You picked a bad time to get lost, man. There goes your head. Ouch. There goes your head. Geez, even at a death, I'm still. I'm still not. Yeah, my. Oh! Much risk. Dagger me. Oh. oh. Oh, shit. Yo. I think I sliced his stomach open. Turn around. Go on your back. Oh, what? <laughs> Holy. There's guts hanging out. Cool. Alright, here we go, guys. Our first dungeon. that spell that gives me the swords. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's a cool one. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, dual wield. Oh, they make a light, too. That's cool.
Oh. Dual sword combat's crazy. Oh, that's scary. Yo, that's scary. I don't like that. That sounds freaky. I'm getting hurt now. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. Yo, the Draugr sounds scary. Ooh. Take that sort of just ass. And I like how the swords actually impact stuff. Like, look at that. Like, they don't just... They bounce off of objects. Oh, what the hell? Get out of here. Pass lock. Huh? Was it giving me options to not have to lock pick it? I love that it's lighting up the area though. And it's super smooth in here. Like the the frames. That's too bright, first person. Think I'm gonna let you spawn, motherfucker? That scared me. Oh my god, the combat is so <laughs> nice. Going the right way? Why does this feel like it's different? Hmm. Am I supposed to come down here? Yeah, I think so. So it came out of here. I came down over here. Do I come in here? And up? Let's see. How am I lost in the first dungeon of the game? Yo, what in the hell is going on here? Someone please explain to me how the hell I am lost in the first goddamn dungeon. Or is this the way I was supposed to go? Please ask me how I got lost like that.
Get out of here. You were weak. Hey, I wonder if I can take that dude on now. If anyone remembers my original, my very first playthrough, that dude down there would kick my ass. out of here. Whoa, nice try. I'm gonna try and fight him. I just want to get rid of these mobs here. <sighs> now let's do a quick safety save. Alright, punk. Let's see what you got. I challenge ye. Oh, I'm fucking him up. Don't even get up with the chair. Spawn killed that bitch. Berserk? Giant sword. I'll take that. Huh. He wasn't so tough. If you guys seen my first one, he murgalized me. He just like fucking... He located me as if he was the Hulk. Climb through? What? They added that. This is a mod. What the fuck? That was cool. What was the point of that? <laughs> what was the point of that? Why did I want to do that? Wait, I can just jump down there, can I? Isn't that where I want to go? Oh God, I can't see with those on. Isn't there a door? Am I doing this right? Isn't there supposed to be like a... I wonder if some of these mods that came with this list altered the dungeons. And changed how the dungeons are. Because I don't remember doing this. Yes, he wants me. What the hell? Yeah. This is saying it's up. Yeah, it's up, so. Is this where it wants me to go? Yo, I think these dungeons got changed. Which is actually kind of cool if it, if, it, if it is. I definitely don't remember doing this. Where is it taking me? Oh shit, that scared me. This is scary. I want to get out of here. I don't want to be in here anymore. Uh, huh? 
Okay. Yo, where am I going? Oh, I think it's just giving me the option to, like, to say screw it and not have to deal with the, um... deal with the um the locks I guess but I'm really lost because they must have changed these dungeons because I have no idea where I'm going where I need to go anymore it's all different Going back to the entrance. Oh, no, no, no. I gotta do that thing where that guy was. I'm so stupid. I remember now. I've got to, um, use my quick move where that guy. I'm so dumb. I think I remember what I gotta do now. See, it's just been a while. I know I'm not supposed to go that way, so I'm not going to attempt it. Just go back the way we came. If I can remember which way that was now. There's so many different areas now. Holy smokes, this is things a maze. Which way did I <laughs> come in? Okay, I'm about to just start clipping through walls and shit. Because I'm so lost. Get out of here. I bent your neck back. Okay, I'm getting super lost. Where is this dungeon taking me? Okay, guys, give me a sec. Okay, we're back. Now I remember where we were going. An hour later. Huh? Why do those clothes on me? Oh, well. What the hell? Why am... That was weird. Just turned invisible. Spiders! Take that, you stupid spider. What ain't even dead? Oh, now it is. And you get the same thing.
Do 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 do. Oh look, it's a letter. I have ripped you off. Collect your loot. Shadow of Altar Masks. Guess I'll just take this stuff to sell. Light just <sighs> Huh? Am I invisible? Why the hell am I invisible? What's going on? Um oh, okay. I'm back. <laughs> that was odd. see here. How far do we gotta travel? Pretty damn far. Let's rest up a bit. Oh, actually, look at the time. So, it looks like we hit our hour mark, guys. So, I'm going to... Uh, ended here. And you'll definitely be seeing me for the next one, because I can't wait to jump back onto this. But, uh, so far, so very impressed with this, uh, this mod list I downloaded. So, uh, if you guys like it, check it out. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.